everyone and welcome back to our channel or welcome to our channel if you're new so in today's video we are making a cassava pone recipe now this is a very traditional west indian dessert and um, we really want to bring it onto the channel for you guys especially more traditional stuff um, i know we've been gone for quite a while um, we were having a lot of editing issues but we're trying to get things back on track. I know I always say that, but we're going to try our best to do regular videos for you guys, especially because we see a lot more people coming to the channel. So if you'd like to see how to make this dish, then please keep on watching. First thing we're going to start off with, of course, is the ingredients you'll need for this dish. It's very simple. All you need are two cups of grated cassava, one cup of grated coconut, one cup of carnation milk, three quarters of a cup of brown sugar, one tablespoon of vanilla essence, one tablespoon of butter, a tablespoon of grated ginger, one tablespoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, half a teaspoon of black pepper. Now, as always, all of these ingredients are going to be listed in the description box. box? box? <laughs> if you have any questions, just feel free to ask me in the comment section. You'll also need, of course, a bowl, a spatula, and a non-stick pan we, that's also lined with butter. So now we're going to add in our grated cassava into this bowl first and then we're going to add in the grated coconut and once that's in we're gonna put in our brown sugar. You're then gonna put in your vanilla essence, you're gonna put in your grated ginger, your cinnamon, your nutmeg, as well as your black pepper. So once you have all those ingredients in, you're going to start mixing this up. Now it's going to take a little time to mix because these are very thick ingredients, but you want to make this into a nice thick paste. Now this is very different than making a cake batter. As you may have noticed, we, don't, we didn't use any eggs or anything like that because the cassava itself is a very viscous um, ingredient and it can really hold itself together, especially when making a cake. But then this instance a cassava pone isn't really a cake it's kind of like a dessert but um yeah you get what i mean right here we're just adding in some carnation milk now you're going to add this in gradually you're not going to add in all at once because we don't want it to be too liquidy otherwise we're not going to get that sort of cake consistency that we're looking for so you're gonna mix that in and you see we're adding in a little bit more here and you see that even though we're adding in them periodically, it's not becoming too wet. It's kind of having a wet consistency, but it's still thick. And that's the sort of thing you're looking for. Kind of like a dough, except a little bit more um, separated. So you're going to mix this all together. And once you're happy with the way it looks, then you're going to start putting it into your pan. Now you're just going to drop it straight into the pan. We have a nonstick pan, this is one, but we added it, some butter around it just in case we didn't want it to stick to the pan. So you're just gonna put that in and you're gonna flatten it out. Now, we, we flattened ours out into a square shape. You can do any sort of shape that you'd like because it will adhere to itself and it'll, and it'll keep its shape. You can also put like different sort of ingredients on top. You can put cherries, you can put, um, sort of cookie crumbles anything that you'd like to spruce it up we're just making it sort of basic for this recipe just so that you guys can see the basics of how to make this it's a really really simple recipe and um yeah so right now we're doing the only garnish we're gonna do and it's not really a garnish it's something that you should do for when you're making this is putting in some butter on the top now the reason we're doing this is so that the butter will melt on top and create almost like a golden brown crust and this is exactly what you'd like on the top because when you do see cassava pone like especially in the store and things like that it has that nice brown texture on the top like rough te texture almost as if there's like a cookie crumble and that's exactly what you're looking for for this recipe so once you're happy with it you can put it in the oven to bake for 30 to 40 minutes at 375 degrees fahrenheit and this is what it should look like when it's, it comes out. As you can see, because of the butter spreading all over the top, it has that kind of cookie crumble sort of look, and it has a very nice thick crust on the top. And that's how you know that this is definitely ready to serve. So we're going to cut this up and have this served. 
So this is what the cassava pone looks like. You can add some whipped cream on top. You can do whatever you'd like with it. It's a very delicious sweet dish, but yet not so sweet. So it's a very almost like off sweet taste. It's not too much. It's not too rich, but it's just the right touch. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment down below what you thought of this video and other videos on our channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.